Hi everybody, it's me, Sandy Sandler, and I'm the creator of the Bodabra. And if you haven't watched me before, we're gonna spend the next half hour doing really fun bows, centerpieces, hair bows, all kinds of fun stuff. So I wanna thank you for joining me and spending your Veterans Day evening with me. So now I'm gonna take my mini Bodabra and I'm gonna take my bow wire and I'm folding it in half and laying it down into my mini. Oh, and don't forget, we're giving away a free roll of Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. So all you have to do is say, I want to win. And then right before the end of our show, we'll announce a winner and I'll get that sent off to you tomorrow. So I'm gonna take some of our scrunchie ribbon and just scrunch this down into my mini. And this is how I made my cute little hat bow today. And so now I'm going to take, and this I've got, now that's about maybe a 10 inches of the scrunchie ribbon. And I've got, I probably should use this one. I've got about four inches of the, my regular ribbon. And it's one and a half inches wide. And I have a few pieces here. We've got Darlene and Ashley here. Hi Darlene, hi Ashley. Thanks you guys for joining me. Mm -hmm. And I have Anna filming today, which is somebody new. So it's kind of fun. And now I'm gonna take one more and lay that down. So did you all do anything special for Veterans Day? And scrunch this all down in here. And pull this up, pull it through, pull it really tight while it's still in the bodabra, mini bodabra. I'm gonna separate the ends. And I know this isn't really Thanksgiving, but it matched my shirt. So <laughs> that's why I made this one. And then we're gonna go right into all of our Thanksgiving. But it's kind of a preview of Hanukkah or um, New Year's. Got just Crystal to... too. I'm sorry, who? Crystal. Hi, Crystal. How was your cruise? Hope you guys had a great time. Jeannie. Oh, hi, Jeannie. How are you? I loved those wreaths you sent pictures of. Those were so great. So there's this cute little bow, which is just like my little hat bow. Because all you guys called me out for not having a hat bow last week. So I've got one today, so I'm going to put these aside, and now we're going to go into Thanksgiving mode. So we will start with one of Michael's big creations, because you, oops, what am I doing? Okay, so um, I'm going to take some Bodabra bow wire, I'm going to fold it in half, put that here, put my wire to the side, because this is a big bow here. So I'll fold it in half. I'm going to tuck it under so it stays out of my way. And now I've got a, about a yard and a half. And this is 18, I believe this is 18 inches wide. Yeah, it's 18 inches wide. I'm just going to go in the center of my Bodabra. That's at the center. And scrunch it down. So we're making a really big scrunchy bow with our mesh. And I want to thank all you guys that make wreaths and share videos of how you use the Bodabra to hold your mesh. That's really awesome. So I'm just going to keep scrunching it in here. And as you guys know, mesh is such a pain to work with because it gets caught on everything, just like it is right now. And keep going. Now, Anna, are you able to see the... Um, the Comments or is it kind of hard today? No, it's perfect. Joanna. Oh, oh perfect. We've got a lot of people here. Oh, thank you. Hi, Joanna. How are you? And so I'm just going to, oh, and now these are five, it's five eighths of a yard or 23 inches. And I just dovetail the ends, fold it in half, and we're just going to lay them into the bow tapper. So this makes a really pretty, either a wreath bow or a centerpiece. So I have three of these. Edna, Edna wants to win. Hi, Edna. Well, good luck, Edna. Just stay around and we'll see. Cause, but we are every week we're doing this. So until at least until 2019 and everybody likes it so much, I'll probably continue. So this is 12 inches long. Just the ends are dovetail and it's a five inch wide ribbon. So again, I'm just gonna go in the center and take this piece here and do exactly the same thing. And I'm going to find my wand and just scrunch everything down. And then I'm going to take Laura Lynn, Ashley. Hi, Laura Lynn. Hi, Ashley. 
Where are you guys from? Let me know. And also, if you're watching the replay, be sure to say hi, because I love reading the comments after. And if you guys could share with your friends, that would be awesome. So I have a little over three yards here. So I'm just gonna get started. And this is a two and a half inch wide ribbon. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep folding and twist. And just all I'm doing is fold, twist, and it's a wired ribbon, so it's going to be really easy for me to shape when I get ready to put my final um, centerpiece together. Or like I said, this would make a beautiful... Darlena from Buckeye, Lake Ohio. Hi! Oh, a Buckeye! Buckeye. All right, yeah. Southern so. Indiana, Ashley. Oh, wow, we've got, a, we've got everybody from the Midwest today. Joy Teasley. Hi, Joy, where are you from? She wants to win. You want to win? Okay, cool. Everybody wants to win. That's why we, we started doing this every week, because I want everybody to have a chance at winning. So now I'm just going to fold this one more time in here, hold it down, and then I have these pieces that are nine inches by Ta two inches. Tammy from Kansas. Hi, Tammy. Where in Kansas are you from? And so now I'm going to just scrunch all these in. And I'm just gonna finish it off with this pretty berry pick. Joanna from San Jose. Oh, oh my God. Are you guys affected by the fires, Joanna? These are so scary. I wanna send my prayers out to everybody. And now I'm just gonna pull this through and pull it really tight while it's still in the Bodabra. Um, smoke, Joanna says. They have smoke. Yeah, my mom lives in Walnut Creek and she told me it was really smoky. Michelle they... is here. Oh, hi, Michelle. How are you? You guys, thanks so much for joining me. And now I'm just going to tie it really tight and tie a knot. But you can see I'm just tying Tammy. Tying Tammy's here. Hi, Tammy. Thanks, you guys, for joining and for and joining our, our little contest. And we're keep having the contest every week, at least through the end of the, this year, but probably continuing on. So now I'm just gonna kind of shape this and bring this around. And not like really pretty for like um, just a table bow, or I think it would look gorgeous on a wreath or a door or as a tree topper even, if you have your tree so Somebody early. from the UK, I can't see her name, but she's saying how and uh, how, what and how do we win? We're doing a, giving a free roll of Bodabra scrunchy ribbon, and how you win is you put in that you wanna win, and then at the end of every, um, every half hour of our live, then um, Terry will pick somebody. Um, she has a system, and we'll let you know in probably about 15 minutes who the winner is. So I'm just gonna Jeannie take Jeannie says beautiful. Thank you, Jeannie. And I take that as high praise from Jeannie because Jeannie is, I don't even know how, Jeannie is probably one person that I guarantee has made more bows than I have. So now we're gonna go from big to little. Um, so I'm gonna take another piece of my gold bow dagger bow wire. And fold this in half. And Darlena says absolutely beautiful. Thank Michelle you. Says pretty. Thanks, you guys. Actually, I think I'm gonna make this in a big bow dabra. Thank you so much. It always means so much when you guys like what I create because sometimes I'm I'm worried about how it's gonna come out. <laughs> um, so I'll take my bow dabra and I'm just gonna fold this in half. I think, and lay my wire into my Bodabra. And the Bodabra wire, what's really nice about it, if you're not familiar with it, is it's really, really strong, but like, so it's like a cord, but it's a wire. So that's why I love it, and most people do love it. So now I have this piece of ribbon, which is two and a half inches wide and eight inches long, and I'm just gonna take the middle and scrunch that down into my Bodabra. Then I have another piece here, it's the same size. You got Susan coughing. Um, Susan? 
Hi, Susan. And lay this down in here. But the good news is if you don't win today, you might win next week or the week after. And I'm gonna now, I have this piece that is 18 inches long. And I'm gonna start by putting the wrong side down. And just lay that down in there. I'm gonna bring it back around and put the wrong side in on the other side, then go to the center and scrunch that down. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Now this ribbon is like, I love it. I've got um, 12 inches by, I think it's a two inch ribbon. And it's called our Bodabra. It's a blue, a navy and gold um, mermaid Oxford. And how we got that name, I have no idea but we do have it in our store and I believe it's on sale today. I'm just gonna scrunch this down, do exactly the same bow that I loop that I just did. And really this is kind of how we make hair bows a lot in Bodabra. And so now I'm gonna take my, um, my rose, it's kind of a burlap rose, put that in the middle. And I've got our one inch ribbon, which is 12 inches. I believe that, nope, it's, it's one and a half inches wide. And I'm just going to lay that in and again do the same thing, twist it back and then put this down. And this could be really pretty on a place setting or if you're from Texas, it's a really big hair bow. So mm -hmm. just lay this down and you guys need to meet Anna. She's a friend who is helping me out today because Adelie was babysitting and Michael is sick, unfortunately. And so... I have Anna who's so sweet to help me. Oh, well, <laughs> so now I'm gonna pull this through, hold it really tight while it's still in my bodabra. I'm gonna pull it out and whoops, I'm gonna separate the ends and bring it around to the back. And we have some really fun weeks coming up with our, with Christmas coming up. And we have one week that's Hanukkah and we have another week that um, we're gonna do more Thanksgiving and hostess gifts, so it's gonna be really fun. So I'm just gonna pull this. I can't believe Thanksgiving's so early. It's like right around the corner. So now I'm just gonna put this up here, pull this. Hello, Jeannie. <laughs> hi, Jeannie. Come say hi, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> I know, everybody's so nice. So, and this actually, I think it could be like a boutonniere for a, for a hot, it doesn't match with my shirt, but a boutonniere for a wedding or a holiday party even. Um, and it's just, I don't know, I like it how that came out. It's really pretty. So let me know what you think and I'm going to go on to our next book. Crystal says she hopes that Michelle or, yeah, no, probably Michael. Michael. Yeah, that's Michael. That's how he spells yeah. his name. Yeah. Uh, feels better soon. I know, me too. He's been sick for a little while. So I'm standing up because we're about to make a really big bow. So I'll pull this in. And I apologize, somebody's car is very noisy. We do these in my garage. And it's there's a really loud car outside. So if you're hearing that, I, I apologize. You know what? I need a bigger piece of wire. I'll put that in there and use that later because this is going to be a pretty big bow. So with a big bow, I want to fold my wire in half. So I have here, oops, I've got about 48 inches of wire all together here. You're getting some beautiful here. Oh, thanks you guys. Sarah says beautiful. Thank you so much. So now here, this is a, I believe, it's an eight inch wide. So it's an eight inch wide wired ribbon that is um, 36 and it's about 48 inches. And I'm just gonna fold it in half. And this could be a center piece. That's kind of what I'm, I'm envisioning here, but you can use it in any way that you like. I'm just putting everything aside to get out of my way. So I'm just gonna make, put this out here. And then this is a two, I believe it's a two and a half inch. No, I'm wrong. It's two inches wide and 36, 46 inches long. And I have several of these strips and just kind of fold that in half and lay that in. 
And as you guys, as you guys see, I'm not real accurate on my, like my measurements because I kind of like the scattered look here. So got another piece here. Let's kind of find the center and take another. This one's a shorter one, so I'm just making sure I have all the shorter. And then I have a piece of this mesh gold, which is two and a half inches wide, I believe. I'm going to double check. 26 inches long and two and a half inches wide. So I'm just going to fold that in half and lay that in here. And that's just kind of going to curly cue itself. And then I have this piece of the two... Did I say this was two inches? Yeah, two inches wide by 28 inches long. Just find the center and lay that down. And then take one more piece the same size and lay that in here. And then I got some of our Mermaid Oxford ribbon. And this is, let's see, it's about 38 yards long and two inches wide. So I'm going to just fold that in half and lay that down into my Bodabra. And I just love how the blue kind of brings out the colors in all of these ribbons. And so now lay that down in here. And then next, I've got these, which are 17 inches by, is that one and a half or one? One and a half inches. So I'm just gonna find the center, kind of lay that down in here. And then I have, couple more tails, I believe. And I'm gonna actually take these beads. They're about 25 inches. And let's find the center here. I'm just gonna kind of lay those across here. So we're gonna make kind of a long table runner almost. And then this ribbon here is 20 inches by two and a half inches. So we're gonna lay that in there. And I have another piece of the same size and lay that. And then I got this beautiful, um, it's just a garland that I picked up one year. Oh, I've got more beads. Let's put these back in. So I've got four strands of the gold beads. And then this is just like a several yard garland. And I'm just going to lay that across here because that will, this will lay on the table like this. You can kind of see what it's going to look like and just kind of lay that going back that way. And then just to end it off, I'm going to take, I've got how much? One yard, two yards. I've got about two yards and 27 inches. And it is a two and a half inch wide wired ribbon. I'm just going to twist it. And now I better stand up so I can see what I'm doing and come back and twist and fold it and twist and come back and twist. So, um, you know, I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me and spending your the end of your holiday weekend with me. And I also wanna thank our veterans so much for serving. Um, it's just amazing what you guys do for our country. And um, also, we're almost getting just another five minutes for you guys to be able to put in or yeah, to put in that you want to win because we're going to announce right at 25 after Terry's going to let you know who won. I never know till the last minute. Well, basically when you know. <laughs> so I'm going to scrunch this down and bring it up, bring it through and Corinthian loves it. Janet wants to win. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to pull it up and separate the ends. And I'm going to bring it around the back. I'm going to kind of do this a little different just because I've got the stuff all laying out. Susie's saying hi. Hi, Susie. Thank you for joining us. We've got such a great group of people that join every Monday or watch us the replays. And if you do watch the replay, please let me know and say hi. And then also, I'm just going to double knot this because I've got a lot in here. And let me know um, what you think. And also, please share with all your friends. Anybody you know that likes decorating? Also, it is that time of year, so Bodabra makes a great holiday present. 
also makes a great hostess gift. So let's kind of bring all this out. And it's sort of hard to see here, but let's shape it. And let's fix that here and bring this all around. And you have a really pretty table runner, but I have so much stuff on this table that I can't do this justice. But let me know what you think. And we'll bring these down here. Ashley's saying absolutely beautiful. Rebecca, thank you. Oh, thank you, Ashley and Rebecca. I really appreciate that. So uh, I just love some of these really fun, unique ways that we can use Bodabra to decorate our home or our tables. So I'm just gonna leave this on here for about a minute more so you guys can take a look at it. Um, and I don't know if many of you know the story. While you're looking at this, I'll tell you the story of the mini Bodabra and the Bodabra. We had invented the Bodabra to begin with and we kept trying to make little itty bitty bows in the Bodabra but we do a platform and everything. So when I switched manufacturers, I said to him, well, what do you think? Because we're trying to make a Bodabra where we can you know, do, put a platform in or something so that we can make itty bitty bows and not have to hold them up here. And he said to me, he goes, well, why don't you make a mini Bodabra? It was kind of like, Boop. why didn't all of us think about it? So I'm gonna take this and put it aside so we can go on to our next bow. And Let's get some of this stuff out of the way here. Um, so this is just a pretty, oop, I've got two bows here. that are kind of mixed together, here we go. And I've got some beads here. I'm gonna put that aside. And I'm gonna take my regular Bodabra, grab some Bodabra bow wire. So did anybody do anything really fun for the weekend? Rebecca says, good idea moment, and she laughs. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Now fold that in half and tuck it underneath. And then what I've got here is a piece of, it's kind of a really shiny burlap, and it's four inches wide by 13 inches long. And then I also have a piece of lace because I think the lace and the burlap just are beautiful for fall. So that's two and a half inches wide by 13 and a half inches. And I'm just gonna lay that on top. I'm gonna just fold it in half. I'm gonna do my little mountain up in the middle and just scrunch so that. Lena had a craft show in the weekend. Oh, wow, how did it go, Lena? Darlena. Oh, Darlena, what sort of crafts were you selling? So I'm fold that in half. So we have two pieces that are exactly the same. Whoops, I wanna, Put this, I'm gonna put this down first. And like burlap. For her birthday. Oh, how fun! Did you get anything really cool? And that's 13 half inches. So now just find the center, put that in here. Susie, 15 year old grandson was helping with wood and chickens. Oh, how cool! So you have chickens? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do here, this is, I've got 26 inches and it's a one inch wide ribbon. So I'm gonna put the wrong side down and just scrunch that in there. And then I'm gonna come back, Ugh, I did that wrong, I always do that. So I'm gonna put the wrong side down from the middle. And this is how we would make like our boutique bows. So I'm gonna just scrunch this back under here, whoops. And then I'm gonna bring this around. I think I probably should have done this in the mini. And then I'm gonna just scrunch, so I have like an X, and I'm gonna then take the bottom ribbon and scrunch that down, and then the other one and scrunch that. So you have your two loops there. I'm gonna take my wand and just push everything down. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with, um, with this ribbon, and I believe it's the same length. It's 24 and a half inches by one inch, or one and a half, I'm sorry. So I'll fold that in half, lay the wrong side down. And if you missed on the last one, I'll do this a little bit slower. I'm gonna just fold this over and put that in there. And I'm not gonna tuck this in yet. And then I'm gonna come back 
make an X over there. And then I'm going to bring this back under and scrunch this in here, bring this down and then bring this, the under the one lower down and then now bring the top one. And that way I have my, my even loops. And so it works really well in the mini bow dabra. And if you don't have the hair bow tool, which is the ruler that you can get separately for the mini bow dabra, this gives you really accurate measurements in, with this technique. I'm just gonna scrape, put these little beads. These are about four and a half inches long. Lay those down, scrunch everything in, and take my wire, pull it through, hold the bow tight. Basically the same steps, pull it out, and move my Amber beads. Sadlin is the winner. Oh, Amber, congratulations! All you have to do is let um, let Terry know your address. You don't have to put it on the site. Just go to PM us, message us, and we'll be able to get your roll of scrunchy ribbon. And do you will have a special color that you would like? Because you just have to let me know, and I'll send you gold, silver, or red. Ends. And now I'm just gonna thanks. And I just think this would be really pretty for. Um, you can put it on a, um, oh, the charger plate um, for your Thanksgiving meal. And isn't that just so super simple? And quick and easy. So I'm going to put this aside because I think I have time to do one, maybe two more. I think if I do a big one, I probably only have room for one. So we'll do this one right now. Um, I'll fold my wire in half, lay it into my bodabra, and take my mesh, which sticks to everything, and I've got, looks like about 12 inches, but let's make, nope, it's a little bit longer. It's about 23 inches, and I believe this is, I, this is, well, it's 23 by 18. So, I'm just going to scrunch it all it's kind of scrunching itself but just scrunch it all into the bow dabra and move our rhinestone mesh over to the side and then here like i said the mesh wants to get caught on everything so 24 inches and by one and a half inches i'm just going to lay this down in here and this could be again a really pretty um um like wreath bow or a chair bow. Lay that down in there. And then this is 17 inches by two and a half inches. Fold it in half on the center and lay that into my bow dabra. This one's the same size. And then, let's see how much ribbon do we have here? A yard and 27 inches. And let me just find the right side versus the, uh, that's the right side, the side that's got the glitter on it. So I'm just going to scrunch this in and oh, wrong way, that, bring it back around, going to twist it. And we're just going to make a regular bow right on top to finish this off and come back around and come back here and just kind of graduate the bow in. And bring this here. I'm just gonna clip a bit. So I'm taking about an inch off of whatever measurement I just gave you. <laughs> and take my wand. Oops. When the bows start getting this big, I have to stand that up to scrunch them down. And now I'm just gonna take. So all of these bows work really well. Um, this could be a really pretty centerpiece. Um, I'm going to separate the ends, bring it around to the back, tie a knot. And the other thing you can do is, let me sh I'll show you in a minute what I might do on a mantle that would be really pretty, is, uh, I'm just going to cut my wire. And what I might do for a mantle um, is take these like this, shape it out, 
And then I would put some one of those flameless candles, maybe put one here and put one on the other side. I think that would be really pretty. So let me know what you think. And I'll show you from this angle too. Um, I think we're really tight on time, but I'm gonna just do one more. I'll show you that really quick. So if you wanna leave, our half hour's over, but I'm, I've got more projects. So I'm gonna do another one really quick. Um, and I'm actually gonna use the mini bow dabber for this one. I've got, this would be a really pretty hair bow. It's 33 inches long, and this is a two and a half inch wide ribbon. And so I'm just gonna take a little of my wire and- Darlena says it's so pretty. Thank you, Darlena. Tammy thank, loved it. Thank you, Tammy. Thanks, you guys, so much. So now I'm gonna fold this in half, and I'm gonna put the wrong side into my mini modabra. I'm gonna bring my ribbon around, and we're going to do our same technique where we exit. So now I'm going to take the bottom ribbon and bring that around and put that in here. And then I'm going to just go to the center of bottom loop and then put the bigger loop on top. That my mini modabra is sliding all over today. And then I'm going to take, this is... 14 inches by two and a half, two inches. And we're just gonna do a little scrunchy bow in the middle. That's kind of what I love about Modabra is you can use all your scraps of ribbon and just pretty much scrunch everything in and then take like your scraps of beads or whatever you have and take my wand and scrunch it down. So none of the ribbon, whoops, I just, that okay oh no we didn't okay it just wants to pop out so I'll just hold that there and grab my wire bring it through and I'm gonna take my two ends and pull them through my slip knot hold my bow down while I do that and pull it really tight pull it out I'm gonna separate the ends and bring them around to the back and I'm just gonna tie a knot so again, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you watch the replay, please let me know, say hi, and please share with your friends and let them know about Bodabra. So now, just shape this out, and you have a really pretty, I mean, this could be a bow for anything from your, an ornament to for my hat for next week. <laughs> Ashley says, made a tomato cage Christmas. Made a tomato case Christmas, okay. Sounds pretty funny to me. And then the other part of it, I can't see now. Oh, sorry. Well, I'll check it later and definitely reply back. Sometimes it's really hard on the iPhone to see the, the messages coming through. So Ashley I, and Michelle loved it. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Michelle. And you guys, thanks again for joining me. And I will see you next week, same time, same place. So bye.